Have you ever wanted to make a talking character in OBS? Like this? Or maybe even try to do something like this? Oh boy howdy did you click the right video. But before I get into it, why don't you click that little subscribe button? I'll make it worth your while. Wink! So there's actually two methods to achieve this effect. One is a little bit more complicated, however, it does a way better job tracking your mouth and your voice. The second method is much easier, however, it's less accurate and less flexible. That means you'll have less settings to play with in order to get a more accurate capture for your voice. However, it's much more streamlined. There's a website created by Jin that has easy to follow steps. I'll leave that website down in the description below. Method 1 I learned of this method through a YouTube video uploaded by Emma Essex. However, I felt like it needed a little bit more explanation, so that's why I'm making this video. I'll leave that video down in the description below. Make sure you give them some support. First things first, you're going to need to download the Spectralizer plugin from the OBS forums and install it. If your directory is in a weird place, then there are steps on the page to install it manually. Then all you got to do from there is just add it to your sources and your scene and bing bang, thank you ma'am, you are done, son. Just kidding, it gets complicated here. Don't worry though, I believe in you. Just as a word of warning, this video will be showing you how to do this within the standard OBS. If you are a slobs user or an XSplit user, all you have to do is find a Spectralizer plugin for your respective software. The steps in this tutorial should be able to be translated easily. The general gist of what we're trying to do here is basically zoom super close into a point above the Spectralizer. Preferably a point you see getting past the most when you talk into your little microphone. Then when we have that little tiny speck cropped out, any time that the Spectralizer passes it, it'll turn into a white image, blinding you for the rest of your days. Just kidding, you could turn that into an image and then make it epic and cool. So with that in mind, let's talk about the settings of the Spectralizer itself. Here are my settings, but you may need to modify them based on how you want the bar to interact with your voice. Play with the little doodads all you like, but this is what I found to be the nicest results for myself. Also, for the purposes of this tutorial, you may want to at least have the same number of bins as me, just to keep the next step consistent. So now that we're done playing with the settings, we're going to head over down into the FILTERS! This is where we're going to see the real magic happen. So first we want to add a crop. Now based on where you'd like to capture your point of interest, you want to start cropping out the other bins. So start using the right and left parts of the crop to get rid of the other bins that you don't want. For me it was the 10th bin, so here's the settings for that. Then you want to crop out the bottom part of the spectralizer, and then crop out a large portion of the top of it as well. Generally you want your point to be just above the spectralizer so it's only activated by your voice and not any background noise. We want this point to be extremely small, so make sure that the crop is very, very tiny. And if it all went well, then you should be seeing a white box appear anytime you talk. However, the resolution of that white dot is going to be a little difficult to work with, so this is where we're going to add our second filter. We're going to add a scaling and aspect ratio filter to our spectralizer. And here are the settings that I use for that. Again, these can be played with to your preference. Now the last filter we're going to add is an image mask. That's basically going to take all the white and then replace it with any image that you choose. All you have to do here is specify what image you'd like to appear when you speak. Be sure to set the type of mask to Blend Multiply. Lastly, you'll just have to set a static image underneath your talking image. Transparent images sometimes have difficulties with this method. The easiest way to work around the issue is to place a green screen behind the transparent image, and then key it out with filters in OBS. And with that, you should be ready. If you have any questions about the methods mentioned in this video, then please leave a comment below. I'll try to answer it with the best of my ability. Anyway, I hope you have a good day and happy streaming. Goodbye!